everyone, so this is the third week of picking my Christmas books. I have not finished last week's yet, but hopefully soon. But she's here, I'm my here. mom, to help pick my books. Okay, go ahead and pick the first book. All right, stop the sewing. Yeah, we don't want to be here for half an hour. Well, they might want us here for half an hour. Uh, I know, they love you. They do. I still think, you know, you're a lone channeler. A lone channeler? The lone channeler. <laughs> Feels like another Melody Carlson book. <laughs> was it supposed to be? Huh? Was it supposed to be another Melody? Yep, I was right. Oh, good. It's the one that was due a couple days ago. So. Oh. <laughs> At least I can read it now. <laughs> but it is The Christmas Cat by oh, Melody Carlson. Yes, you can read it after me if you want. It looks so much overdue. <laughs> no, I don't have fines unless it's a month overdue. So um, we're good. I'll read fast. Yeah, that's right. So this one says, after years abroad, Garrison Brown finds himself at the home of his beloved grandmother who has just passed away. He must sort out her belongings, including six cats who need new homes. While he hopes to dispense with the task quickly, especially since he is severely allergic to cats, his grandmother's instructions don't allow for speed. She has left some challenging requirements for the future homes of her furry friends. So it sounds cute. <laughs> she pointed to me because I'm allergic to cats. Yeah, so. she is. And she would, she would be like, Katie, you got to take care of these six cats. I'm like, oh, dear. Katie, you want to thick one? You want a thick one? Thick one's fine, so thick we don't one's have one's any more fine. Melody Cross in this week. All right. <laughs> okay. I love the wrapper. It's paper. Hard cover. It could be <laughs> what I'm hoping it is. Make a guess. I was going to say Melanie, Melanie Dickerson. Okay, so you've got them. No. <laughs> oh. Oh, but it's a good one, though. I've been wanting to read this one. This is the second book in the Aggie Morton Mystery Series. But I'm really, really excited to, to read this one because this is the second book and I'm just excited. I can't tell you too much about it, but it is about Agatha Christie when she was a, a young mm -hmm. child and her best friend who is uh, Hercule Perrault, but his name is Hector? Yeah, Hector Perrault. So it's a really cute series and I'm glad mm -hmm. I get to continue it. All right, last one. I'm picking through this oh, week. Read this week? Yes. Wow, okay. Because I got quite a few back there still. Do, 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 get up for you. Yes, hurry, hurry. <laughs> Wasn't all get bored with me. Oh no! <laughs> I can no, I can tell it's already another Melody Carlson book oh, because they're always skinny. I can always tell it's a Melody Carlson book. I was just mixing them around and stemming and playing around. I was right. <laughs> they're always skinny. That's why I make you a pick so I don't pick them all. But another Melody Carlson book. So technically, I have three to read this week. So I still have to finish the one today. So well, two skinny and one chubby. Yeah. Well, that's good actually. I can yeah. get like all three okay. done in like one day. So <laughs> I can get all three done in a month. <laughs> no, you're good. You could easily well, finish I'll, one of these in a day I said if all you were enjoying it. In a month. It. <laughs> By the end of this month. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> like eight days but the nine. Christmas bus. No, you have Oh, no, more. I have more. There's I'm a, thinking Christmas. There's five days after Christmas. Yeah, but I'm thinking get them done by Christmas. <laughs> no, not, okay. by the end of the year. You can always read them after. <laughs> but the Christmas bus by Melody Carlson. So this one is, whoa, look at that writing. How can somebody, it's really teeny. <laughs> is it handwriting? Yeah, but no, it's, oh, okay. oh, it's well. kind of cursive, but it's really small. Let's see, it says, Amy skimmed the brochure. It sounds like the, t the town decided to capitalize on its name, Christmas Valley, and turned into a tourist town where everything is about Christmas. She looked out at the pine trees. I guess it does look kind of Christmassy up here. Look, Colin, it's really snowing. I guess it's kind of, uh, it's not really a synopsis. It's more of like a, I don't know. Like part of the story. That was interesting. <laughs> it didn't tell it about the story. Yeah, it didn't tell no, about the story. No, it didn't tell yeah. about the story. It just like kind of had like a little synopsis. Synopsis. Yeah, it's like yeah. Uh, part of the book. Yeah. Written right. on well, the thing. Oh, it's on the back. What's on the back? What it's about? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Because, well, they're usually, you they're usually you on the inside. You got me interested in the book. <laughs> well, they're usually on the inside when they're hardcover, not on the back. Yeah, you got so me interested weird. in the book, though. Okay, well, it says. I almost wanted to do motions. Yeah. You know, look, it's not snowing yet. It's raining. It's supposed to. It's only two weeks before Christmas, and Edith Ryan is disappointed to learn that none of her children are coming home for the holidays. Her large house, which doubles as a shepherd's inn the rest of the year, will feel so empty without them, and it's too late to open the inn for Christmas reservations. Surely everyone else has their plans made by now. In a town where Christmas is a way of life all year long, going through the holidays alone is just about enough to bring her to tears. Sounds good. I'm ah, guessing her home is going to be filled. That'd be great for Christmas all year. Alright, so these... Are the three good choices though because I have two small ones and one big one? So, <laughs> not a problem. Even though it's by the same author. So, I think honestly, I, I think. You must have like, what's her name? I think I'm done with Melody Carlson. There might be one more book down there. <laughs> Melody Carlson. No, no, I think there is one more 
But I got most of the crosses done this year, so. <laughs> All right, so stay tuned for next week, which is going to be my last week of picking Christmas books. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys <laughs> later. <laughs> Bye. Are you glad I'm here? I got a new hat. Well, not a new hat, but a Yeah, she's not wearing hat. the beard and she's shaved today. I'm Candy Canish. I'm shaved today? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> last, last time. Santa. Yeah, last time you were here, she had a beard. <laughs> I didn't have a beard. You had a beard. No, but you're silly. Okay. You're shaking the camera here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Good. Now I'm decked. Oh, see, so now you're shaking the drag. She said it. Huh? What'd you say? I said they should be filming this. <laughs> oh! <laughs> How'd you do that? I do what? Film it without me knowing you're filming it. I went. It's magic. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't see you touch the phone. I did touch the phone. Right. That's why I said when you when you went like this. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, I said I said I should be filming this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't listen, D. No, oh, no, I don't listen. You don't. I don't watch. I don't pay attention. I love you. Love having fun. Back. Oh, don't show that I'm bald.